Today I thought I'd go over and, and talk to you about questions that some of my landowners and some of my property owners come to me and say, hey, Larry, first this question he had was, I had 10 houses and what do I do? And I helped him um, take 10 houses and tax exchange them, save his money, and put them into uh, Park Place Professional Center, which is a 25,000 square foot building in Burien with underground parking and about three and a half acres of property. Um, we got them stabilized. We got uh, Highland Building in the main portion of it, a dance studio in the middle. And then uh, the city of Burien decided they were going to build a new building. They were going to move out of this space. So he comes to me and he says, Larry, what do I do? Well, we look at the market. And in this case, it was a little earlier in, the, in this time period. So what he needed to do was save his investment. He needed to replace this income that he lost. He needed to position himself so that he could bring in new tenants. So that meant to know what the market is and who's looking for new spaces. So I moved on and I helped him put in a wellness center, a chiropractor's office in the front, um, a, a dojo for self-protection for police officers and for um, uh, the, the people who work at uh, immigrations and the, those blue and white trucks, what are they? Um, Women's parties? Um, yes. The, the, yes, so for the Federal Bureau and for police departments, they put in self-defense, he's a little guy like this, and he can take, he'll take on eight or nine guys at the same time, it's pretty amazing. We also put in this, this a, uh, a business consultant, uh, CPA, and then I put in Lake Burien uh, Physical Therapy Clinic, and they're very nice spaces, very nice office spaces. Um, next, one of my clients comes to me and says, the furniture store is going to move. What do I do next? Well, um, this, this went through by about six brokers until they came to me. And then with Morris B. Hoff and myself, we turned this into the treasure chest. Has anybody been out to Burien and looked at the treasure? Um, that's, that took lots of years, but it took finally to get this down to a market rate where we could have tenants move into the building and afford it. So that's where I help people, and I specialize in tough problems. Um, when the other guys can't get the job done, they usually come see me. Um, what do I do the liquor store move? Um, so we put in Herfies, um, and, and just recently I put another tenant in here for when these smoke, uh, smokeless cigarette things. And then they have a yard uh, sale for church wreath raffles and so forth. This is a long-term client of mine. Uh, this is her and her brother's retirement. Um, I've helped them uh, keep this full for about 20 years. This is a building here that one of my friends called and said, my, my family has a property here in West Seattle. We don't know what to do with it. It's been a doctor's office for many years. What can I get for it? What, should I rent it? Should I sell it? Well, we kept it rented until we thought we could get the highest possible amount for this. It's a 2,500 square foot building and we got about $700,000 $700, for this when I finally got it on the market for them to sell. Um, Carpenters Union came to me and said, Larry, we need a new home. And they asked me to find them a location and to find them um, a, the possible, what they could build on the location and then to find, uh, set them up with a contractor to build this. So at 252nd and Pacific Highway South, I found them about three acres of property. Uh, we negotiated for this. I had to go back to uh, Montana to their uh, uh, trustees meeting. And you know that the carpenters have more trustees than I ever imagined. There's 382 customer trustees in the carpenters union. And so we had a presentation to them. When we got done with the presentation, it was the first time in the history of the carpenters union that they had 100% guarantee, uh, a unanimous decision to go ahead with the project. So this is their new home, 25,000 square feet. Uh, it's out on Pacific Highway South. It's been very, very successful for them. Um, I kind of get the, 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 the funny parts of business every once in a while. I helped a little, little gal, she's not a little anymore, but a young lady um, by the name of Lori Bowden, and she wanted to have some sort of business. And so we got together and we talked a little bit, and then she started Cowgirls. So I've done a whole bunch of Cowgirls. She owns 22 Cowgirl stands at one time. Um, 
It's very interesting. She might even have a reality show one of these days. Um, and if you can imagine trying to get young women to come to work at 4 or 5.30 in the morning and wear a bikini, uh, she has her hands full. But I try to get a location for them. It, it's kind of fun. And so every once in a while I get to, to wander around the woods. <laughs> um, some of my other clients are in the wine industry. Um, a lot of what we do or how we do with wine industries or what we do with wineries, and, uh, all up and down. Um, I even have some friends who have built wine uh, buildings out of Bale Cave. So they're in California and they, they do really well in the apartment house business here and they went down to California. And uh, this was Evie Foot. Evie Foot. Um, she, her husband died, he had Alzheimer's, and so um, she couldn't run this business by herself. Um, it was kind of sad to see Evie quit though. She did a lot for the community. Um, but I'm involved with a lot of my community and I like to help people who have, who need a problem solved. That's what you do, is you come to me if you need a problem solved. Oh, also, some portions of, of things I get families to say, you know, we've owned this property for a long time. It's commercial. We don't know what to do with it. We never were able to develop it. Um, how do I go about finding somebody for it? What can I do for it? Well, today with the, the problems of uh, development, you need to really be specialized. Come see me. I do a really good job with vacant properties. Um, this is one of my old girls who I'm really proud of. I specialize in 100-year-old buildings. Uh, the management of them and the taking care of them. Uh, I got this building, and I redid it, the San Francisco retrograde. Uh, we put on kind of neon signs and fancies there. I have a halogen, fireworks, uh, a trucking company, fantagraphics, and beyond tradition, uh, marketing uh, enterprise that does uh, large uh, advertising campaigns in this building in this downtown Soto. Um, those are the kind of things I love to do and uh, I love to help those people. Thank you.